Hey guys, it's Deborah from Time with Joe by Deborah. Welcome, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Deborah. I am Time with Joe by Deborah. And what I do is a lot of jewelry openings. I do live sales. I open Goodwill blue boxes. Um, this one is a thread up five pound box from Mechanicsburg. I received it on 422 of 23. Um, I also do live sales where I do vintage and art class i do clothing and shoes and kids and i do everything so all right let's check this out and see when i ordered this so april 14th of 2023 so let's see if one of these older boxes is good oh well that's not good <laughs> we see it's open and all over usually i have the uh containers out um the green, yellow, and red, but they are being used. So let's pour this out, and we will take a look. So what I always do is I separate everything into wearable, sellable, resellable, um, and then I will also go through and I'll show you guys what we need to test. So I am looking forward to this. I always like opening these boxes. Sometimes you find some hidden gems. So after this video, I will also have a um, scrap box. And I usually do a little bag. It's about $5. And it's all the crafting pieces, broken, missing pieces, you know, like little stones and pieces for crafters. So um, hopefully there's not too, too much of that this time. Hopefully we got some good condition. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in one minute. Another fantastic lot. So this is all of the look up test items. We got Amber, we got Henry Bendel. We got some great pieces, so that will do towards the end. This is the wearable resellable, so that's good. And we didn't get too much this time of the craft. There's a lot of rhinestones in there, so um, if you want this bag, it will be $5. Lots of rhinestones in here for repurposing, so excited. Another great lot. All right, so... I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and we'll start going through lots of bracelets. Okay, so we're going to start with a bunch of bracelets. I did test this for um, Bakelite. It is not Bakelite. It is a plastic. It looks like it was originally $22. This measures in at about a seven and a half. So we'll go ahead and do this pretty one for three. Got another black. I did test this for Bakelite as well. It is not. Um, this one fits about a seven and a half. We'll do that one for a dollar. Then we got a stretchy beaded bracelet. All the pieces are there. We'll go ahead and do that for a dollar. Then we have a really pretty clamped um, teal with rhinestones. Really pretty. Fits up to about a seven and a quarter. We'll do that for three. Oh, what a beautiful mess. Copper bracelet. Um, don't see any maker's mark on it, but that's pretty. Let's go ahead and do that for three. Then we got three non-stretchable <laughs> bracelets. They're beaded. They're six and a half. We'll go ahead and do these three for five dollars. Look at this one. I love this. So it's it's a it's not too stretched out. It's some kind of a plastic um, vintage for sure. It's sitting at about a six and a half, six and three quarter. It could go up to a seven comfortably. We'll go ahead and do that one for three. All right. Let's see. I did test this for sterling. It is not sterling. It is a seven and three quarters. We'll do that for a dollar. Got a gold tone bracelet that goes on the mandrel to about seven and a half. We'll do that for a dollar. All right, then we got an Alex and Ani. This one's really pretty and it's in fantastic condition. Look at that. And these are adjustable. So yeah, I really like this one. We'll go ahead and do this Alex and Ani for five. 
This is interesting. It is a little bit stretched. It's got, I'm not sure if that is an actual stone or not, but it's cute. So it's falling on the mandrel at a seven. We'll do that for three dollars. We got an Alex and Ani that says sister. That's cute. We'll go ahead and do that one for a dollar. Vintage. It's got some wear on it, um, but it's a pretty like mustard colored. So it's at seven and three quarters. We'll do that for a dollar. Then we got two copper bracelets. These are really pretty um, and they can stretch really nicely. We'll do the two of these together for five dollars. This is by Plunder and we have a Jasper and I'm not sure what this other one is but it's really pretty and I like Plunder's jewelry. We'll go ahead and do that for five. Then we got a just a stainless steel, I believe. Yeah, stainless steel bracelet bunch. They go down to an eight. We'll go ahead and do this bunch for three dollars. Look at this beauty. So this is not sterling. I did test it. It's probably stainless steel with rhinestones. They're all there. Let me go ahead and measure this for you and get you a size. This is really pretty. It's well made. It's seven inches. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll do this one for, let's do that one for five. Okay, I think we only have one more bracelet. No, okay, here. Here are two uh, bracelets. They The stretch is not the best. We'll go ahead and do those uh, for a dollar. All right, this is fun. Look at this bracelet. So it's black and white, and these two test as stone. Really pretty, no maker's mark. Let me get you that measurement. Now it is adjustable, so it can go anywhere from a about six and a half to approximately an eight. Really beautiful condition. We'll do that for five. All right, oh, one more of these bracelets. Not sure what this is. Um, same design, same style. We'll do that one for five. All right, let's get into some earrings. Look at these bow ties, really cute. Um, I'll see if I have another um, backing for it, but they are ribbon. Um, there's a little bit of wear here, like a little bit of the thread coming up. So we'll do those for a dollar. Let's do this necklace. I thought this was fun. So it's like a brass tone, antique tone with rhinestones and enamel. No maker's mark on it. It is definitely a choker. I'll go ahead and do that for five. This is fun. Look at that. I am not positive what that is, but uh, I would swear it was a glass, but not positive. And then it's on this pink chain. Uh, no maker's mark on it. It's really lovely. Let's do that for five. Okay, then we got a rhinestone necklace. All the stones are there, and this is a suede, uh, like a faux suede, and it is clean. There is no icky stuff on there. <laughs> no maker's mark. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the back. We'll go ahead and do that for $5. Next up is a black and white beaded necklace. Isn't that cute? I like that. It kind of almost matches back to that bracelet. We'll go ahead and do that one for our five. Oh, I did find another bracelet. This is a stretch. We'll do this for a dollar. Okay, earrings. These are adorable. Somebody did a nice job. It looks like it's like crocheted um, with beads. Aren't they lovely? Grays and black. Go ahead and do those for three. This is a stretchy owl ring and it looks like, yeah, all the stones are there. Uh, just adorable. The stretch is pretty good on it. We'll go ahead and do that for five. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Okay, we've got a pair of earrings here. They are silver tone with different colors of blue. Uh, we'll go ahead and do those for three. And we got another pair of blue and like aqua earrings. Those are precious. They are an acrylic. Let's do those for three. 
Okay, we got a ring with a rhinestone. It is adjustable, but it's a small adjustable. It's sitting at a size 6. We'll do that for $3. Then we've got <clears throat> another ring. Now this one, look at that. Isn't that cool? It's like opalescent. Um, and it's a copper color. I did not see any maker's mark, but look at how thin that is. It's just interesting. It's a seven and a half on the mandrel. We'll do that for five. Then we got another thin one, and this one has a pink stone on it. There is some wear on this one. This is sitting at closer to an eight, but since there's so much more wear on this one, we'll do that for a dollar. A brooch. That's a really cute heart. No maker's mark. No missing stones. We'll do that for five pair of aqua beaded earrings. Those are precious. They are post back. Oh, there is a maker's mark. Uh, sugar fix. So those are adorable. Let's do those for three. Then we got, where's the other one? All right. Then we've got a pair of rhinestone and faux pearl earrings. They are an antiqued gold tone. They're really beautiful. I love this coloration. Uh, we'll do these for five. Alright, so then we got a really long necklace. It is adjustable. Oh, wait, there's a maker's mark. This one is a Chico's. A little pretty gold tone. It looks in excellent condition. We'll do that for five. Pair of earrings. So these are big old mama hoops. <laughs> I love these. And they're thin here, and then they thicken up as they go. We'll do those for a dollar. All right, this is gorgeous. Rhinestones, and I believe this is New York & Co. I'm just triple checking to make sure all of the stones are there. Yes, yes, yes. Is this, yeah, this is New York. That's pretty. It looks like it's about 16 inches with an extender. We can do that one for $5. And for our Star Trek fans out there, we have a crescent moon with the Star Trek, uh, ship logo I guess you would call it. <laughs> Interesting. We'll do that for three. And we've got a gunmetal necklace with rhinestones and all of the stones are there. It is I think on this one let me untangle this here. It's really long. I'm just making sure it's not a double. Okay it is a double. So this is oh, I just knocked you guys all over. So it is a double strand. Let me go ahead and show you guys like this. So it's pretty. It's gunmetal with uh, rhinestones. Really pretty necklace. We'll do that for five. Got a pair of gold tone earrings. There's a little wear to them, so we'll do those for a dollar. We have a black faceted acrylic necklace. Um, it's really small. Let me get that measurement. I would say, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it's 14 inches, so it would be a choker length, or you could probably double it and make it a bracelet. We'll do that for a um, dollar. We have a lot of little earrings today, too. Oh, I forgot about this. Two triangles with a faux pearl. Cute little brooch. We'll do that for three. We got a pendant, a lone pendant. It is silver tone. Oh, it is marked. I think that says Sarah Cub. Let's see. That says Sarah. We'll go ahead and do that for $3. Then we got a pair of blue stone. Now they are, they feel like an acrylic. They don't test on the uh, tester and it is not sterling. Um, I'll try to find some backs for this, but really beautiful blues. We'll go ahead and do those for three. We got a bunch of faux pearls, so let me get them all here. They keep rolling away. Earrings. So I'm going to put them all together for a lot here. Okay, make sure I got all of them. Yes, so there are four different pairs, faux pearls. These are silver tone, and these are black with a gray. Um, we'll go ahead and do that whole lot of earrings for, let's just do $5 for those. All right, we have a pair of 
uh, silver tone and faux marcasite earrings. Pretty flower design. Go ahead and do those for three. We have, oh look, I think this kind of matches back to that yellow that we had on that bracelet. Um, so it's an enamel and copper tone ring. It is a seven and a half. We'll go ahead and do that for three dollars. And then the last piece out of here is not sterling. I did test it. It is beaded with really pretty glass and acrylic uh, faux pearls necklace. Adorable. We'll do that for five. Oh, wait, I found another little pair of earrings hiding. So these are little tiny studs. Let me bring them up. That one, make sure they're both blue. Yes, they're like a very pale blue, almost like a, a light tanzanite. They are not sterling or gold. We'll go ahead and do those for uh, $3. So, yay. So we're moving on to the pieces that I had to look up. And wow, I learned a lot of new names today. Okay, so I have a bunch of these bracelets. They are really cool. So this is called Four Oceans Coral Reef. It's recycled plastic cord and recycled glass beads. And they sell them on their website for $24. And what they do is they donate a portion for um, ocean cleanup, which is fantastic. Um, but I have them in so many different colors. So this is light blue. This one we'll do for $3. Then we have it in teal. And these are adjustable. We'll do that for 3 We have the uh, more purpley blue. We'll do that for 3 We have clear and beige. That's $3. We have it in yellow. $3. Green. For three dollars and then I have a light greenish blue for three dollars a red for three dollars and then another pale blue um, for three dollars so that was a new name to me all right we did get some cabbie you guys these are beautiful you, cabbie can be um, <clears throat> very expensive so these are two different necklaces but they need to be together so this is rose gold and this is cabby. So we have the lock. It has a this one has the key on it. And this one came and has the lock on it. So these just needed to go together. Um, I see them sold separately a lot. They are beautiful in rose gold. They are by Cabby. So I'm going to do the two necklaces together, and we'll do these for $20. That is a great price for Cabby. All right. So this is great. This is sterling silver. It is in a gold tone, plus it is... Um, got some patina on it very super long it is 46 inches it is just absolutely lovely it is 23 grams and it is marked 925 and has been tested we'll go ahead and do that for 40. we got some interesting pieces today <laughs> all right so you guys saw earlier we had that piece um star trek this i believe is star trek as well and this is called the Starship. It's 18 inches long, and they actually used um, rhinestone or glass stone on here. And here's what the back looks like. So I thought that was so interesting. This is a really interesting lot um, with crystal beads, and it's Star Trek. And we'll do eight dollars on that. And then we have a precious. Let me bring this up so you can see that. Not positive what the stones are on this, but it is a 14 karat gold filled uh, stone bracelet. It's only a size six. So we'll go ahead and do that for, let's do that for five. Okay, you guys, look at this. Kitty craft. This is vintage. So it is very small. It does open up a little bit. It is 12 karat gold filled. It has little blue enamel flowers. Now there is some loss on the flowers and it will open up to about a six and a quarter or lower. Um, these are fantastic. If you ever look it up and it is marked in there, Kitty Craft. And we can do that for $35. That was a new to me piece. All right. Then we got the 
Um, where did it go? Oh, another cavy piece. This one's really heavy. So you see it's gunmetal with rhinestones. It is cabby. It's called Tender Heart. It is just a beautiful, beautiful necklace. All of the stones are there. This cabby we can do for 35. Okay. All right. So I've never heard of this company before. It's called Tat2, T-A-T with a, the number two. So this is currently still on their website. This sells on their website for $305. It is called the um, Vintage Silver Capri with coins and crystal pave. It's hinged. Um, and so, yeah, it sells for $305 on their website. We can do this for $175. And it looks like about a six and a half. I wear a seven, so let's see. I really can't close it. Um, so yeah, I would say, a, oh well, it just closed. So a six and a half or lower, but isn't that neat? And it's called Tat2, and they do currently sell it on their website for 305 But no, we'll do it for 175 How cool is that? We got some interesting pieces today. Then we've got these three, um, and they are plastic with rhinestone bracelets. I can't remember. Let's see. They go to an eight. Um, I remember having these in the 80s. Um, they're just adorable. Uh, we'll go ahead and do these bangles. We'll do the three of them together for eight. Do you guys remember these? <laughs> if you had these, let me know in the comments. All right, this is phenomenal. This is Henry Bendel. It is marked Henry Bendel right there, and this is pebbled. And then we have this gold tone with a braided, um, like, rhinestone through it. Let me show you the back. This is fantastic, and it's very heavy. It is Henry Bendel, and it is a choker necklace. It is 14 inches. Um, really cool. I think you could probably wrap it as a bracelet. Um, let's see. I don't know. I guess you couldn't. No. So it is definitely a choker. Um, Henry Bendel. We can do... We'll do this for one seven, or 125 Alright. Then we got some other cool pieces. A little Jesling sterling silver and pink enamel. It's like a peachy pink and it has a T on it. It is sterling and it's marked. It is marked S U China 925. It's a purse charm. We can go ahead and we'll do that for 10. This is gorgeous. So this is crown chafari. You can see the crown there and then the chafari. So it's silver tone, very long. Then it has these little teardrop shapes with little uh, black stones in the center. It is in fantastic condition. This crown chafari is 30 inches long, and we can do that for 15. All right. Uh, oh, another bracelet. I forgot about this one. So this is Italian. It is sterling silver, so it has a chain here, and then you see it's got a beaded, like, rope design on there. It is Italian. It's a six and a half. Uh, rope kind of design. We can do, let's do 20 on that. Beautiful. This was interesting. I've not received anything like this before. So we've got, I'm going to call it a faux pearl. It could be real. Um, and then it's like a toggle with a pearl here. This is the tag. I didn't have any look finding it up. It says it's 18 inches. It says this is leather. Um, but how interesting is that? That's for, you know, um, anyone that loves their pearls, we can go ahead and do that for eight. Then we got a J. Crew. This is beautiful. Let me see here. I am going to turn off the light. So you can see it's already shining. Look at that. So this shines really well. And then we get some shine on these two green ones. It's in really nice condition. I love anything that glows under UV light. Um, we can do this. J. Crew uh, necklace for let's do it for fourteen. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
All right. Then we have, where did it go? Oh, here it is. So this is Sarah Coventry. Now it is missing its hang tag. I had to really look this one up. This is the chain. There would have been a hang tag off of there. Um, and it's the brown little, uh, it's it's like a, a amber color. Uh, really pretty necklace. It is not marked uh, Sarah Coventry, but it is. There's no hang tag. We can go ahead and do 10 on that. Okay. So, I was really excited to see these earrings. I'm going to bring you guys down a little bit. So, these are lovely. These are Frida Rothman drop earrings. They're uh, 925. They are CZ. And uh, just absolutely gorgeous and if you guys don't know Frida Rothman look she has some really beautiful jewelry we'll go ahead and do these for $100 wonderful and I'll try to find a I'll, oh nope there is okay I wanted to make sure that there was a backing so we'll do the Frida Rothman earrings for 100 how fantastic is this lot Okay, we got some Kate Spade earrings. These are the glitter earrings. I will need to put backs with these. But these are like a green um, with the glitter. Here is the back. There is the spade. Uh, really pretty, pretty earrings. We can go ahead and do the glitter earrings for 15 This next pair, you guys, is cool. So the... Um, Ear hook is sterling, but the other pieces are not sterling. But look at that. It's a pressed flower in a glass cabochon. Can you guys see those? Aren't those interesting? These remind me of, I think it was the late 70s, maybe early 80s. We had jewelry like this. Um, but these are newer. Uh, but it's really adorable with pressed flowers. Uh, we'll go ahead and do those for 10 these are fantastic. Sterling silver, crystal, lead crystal, check. Um, beautiful, beautiful beads on these. They are sterling. Uh, we can go ahead and do these for, let's do those for 18. Love them. All right, then we got a tiny pair of Fleur de Lis. Okay, let me bring them up here. Cute little studs. They are sterling silver. Can you guys see that? Okay. So they are sterling silver. They definitely, definitely need a little cleanup. They are just adorable. Let's go ahead, and since they're so tiny, let's do those for five. Then we got a really nice Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. <laughs> silver bracelet. It is Italian, and it is sterling. I tested it. It is 9 grams. We can go ahead and do that for 40. Alright, next piece is not for sale right now. So, we got a stunning vintage amber graduated beaded necklace. So, here is the way you put it together. I love this piece. Absolutely love it. And they strung it on red. It's tiny. So right now, I'm keeping it because you guys know I love my amber. But uh, stay tuned. I'm sure this will come up eventually. <laughs> it is 16 inches. Um, but for right now, it is not for sale. All right. These are really cool. I'm going to show you both of these together. Somebody is so creative, and I wish I was that creative. So we have a sterling... Uh, or excuse me, a silver tone chain. I'm going to put both of these out. So this one is marked on here 18K. It is not 18K. So these are silver tone. And what somebody did is they took the inside of an Elgin watch and steampunked it. Put a fleur de lis there. You can see right here it says Elgin something something. Um, just really cool steampunk necklace. We can do this one for 20 And then here's the other one. So someone steampunked this and they put a spider. And let's see what else up here. A little gear. 
and you can tell that these used to be inside of the old timey watches aren't they interesting uh, we'll do that one for 20 as well all right so this is i put it in here because it keeps wanting to um, get stuck so now the chain is sterling silver this part is not so chain is sterling but look at this someone took all the gears out of um, watches old-time watches and put the gears together to make I think it's a dragonfly it is just adorable and uh, it's steampunk fashion so the chain is sterling and then we have our steampunk little dragonfly here we can do for 30 all right okay now one of these is for sale one is not all right so this first one is sterling silver it is onyx with probably man-made opal it is a horse here is the back let me see I can't remember what this one's marked this one is marked 925 and then it says s with a star or five with a star I could not find out um, who the maker of this gorgeous inlay piece was um, we'll go ahead and do him with 75 and I will put a chain on him all right so this is the one that's not for sale I am still researching it so this looks like um, the constellations so this is side one look at this so it's sterling silver all inlay stone it's the constellation but wait there's more <laughs> flip it over and look at that we got sugar light we got mother of pearl we've got uh turquoise we have uh looks like coral or spiny oyster but is that not neat? It is Mark Sterling inside, and I don't know. I can't really see in there to see if that's a Mark. Because um, these really, really range in price anywhere from about $200 up to $900. So as of right now, um, unless I find out who the maker is, I'm not going to put a price on him or sell him. But is that not fantastic? Oh my gosh, you guys. So what do you think? This... <clears throat> this I love this dragonfly the Harry Vendell the sterling some new to me names the tattoo so if you guys are interested in any of these items please email me at timelessjewelbydebra at gmail.com and all the information is on that green um, card that you will see at the end and that you saw at the beginning um, and then also down in the description and if you like this kind of content content please consider liking and sharing my videos I'm trying to grow my channel and I would love your help with doing it so all right you guys will you <clears throat> have a fantastic day and as always please take care of yourself and be well and tell someone you love them today all right you guys I'll see you on the next Bye.